Francis decrees Reckin to the extraordinary form of the Mass in Latin. In his more proprio Traditions Custodes of July 16, 2021, Francis creates restrictions on the celebration of Masses in Latin in the extraordinary form using the 1962 Roman Missal, thus choking the traditional Church and forcing it to accept the Novus Ordo Mass. In his document that disapproves Popes John Paul II and Benedict XVI, Francis limits the use of the Roman Missal promulgated by St. Pius V. In an authoritative manner, Francis sustains the faculty granted by his predecessors. Francis criticizes his predecessors by implying that their intention disfavored the unity of the Church, intended to favor the stability of the movement led by Archbishop Lefebvre that seeks to maintain the tradition of the true Church before Vatican II. Francis based his disapproval of Pope Benedict XVI's Samorum Pontificum on a questionnaire that a Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith sent to bishops around the world to evaluate their positions on the extraordinary right of the Latin Mass. As a result, the majority of bishops who are modernists in our time disapprove of the Church's tradition in the traditional right that favored the Church and produced hundreds of saints. This weakening imposed on the traditional Latin Mass is also an opportunity to force new seminarians and new priests to be educated in fidelity to the modern Missal in the liturgical books of the Second Vatican Council. This is not the first occasion on which the enemy of tradition has attacked the Latin Mass. It has already happened as of March 22, 2021, when Francis ordered the cancellation of the celebration of all individual Masses, including those celebrated in the extraordinary form in St. Peter's Basilica. With this modo proprio traditions custodes, which ironically means guardians of tradition, although its title should be hereditatis ilius mortiteris, destroyers of tradition. Francis deals another mortal blow to the holy tradition of our holy Catholic Church. Francis has decided that all priests ordained after the publication of the present motu proprio, who wish to celebrate with the Roman Missal of 1962, must submit a formal request to the diocesan bishop who will consult the Apostolic See before granting authorization. He further said, presbyters who already celebrate according to the Roman Missal of 1962 shall ask the diocesan bishop for authorization to continue to maintain that faculty, describes Article 5. All these arguments point to the Latin Mass as an obsolete and unnecessary Mass that should be extinguished, and now facilitate the prohibition of the traditional Latin Mass by modern bishops who do not agree with tradition, and who wash their hands of the destructive power coming from the top of the Catholic hierarchy. Comments The modernism that is destroying the tradition of the Holy Catholic Church began its desecration with the Second Vatican Council, leading the Church to a false ecumenism and the desecration of the altars by the intervention of the laity and people of other religions. It has also been the ideal platform for the current reformist in charge of the Church, who never ceases to squeeze the neck of the body of Christ, the traditional Church, which he wants to destroy completely, giving free reign to changes in favor of homosexuality, abortion promoted by the agenda of the United Nations, the use of vaccines containing cells from aborted babies, 
the idolatry of the earth with this idol, the Pachamama, with the approval and promotion of Freemasonry in the encyclical Fratelli Tutti, with the flow of power from the church to the bishops through the tenodal path that expands the modernization of the church, allowing it to be governed not by one head, but by the saints of many. All that has been said previously has been cemented with blasphemies and papal heresies that offend God and his saints. All that is happening in the ecclesiastical hierarchy, together with the impossibility of many churches in the world to celebrate the Holy Eucharist because of the pandemic, contribute to the process of abolition of the perpetual sacrifice announced by the prophet Daniel 12, verse 11, and confirmed by our Lord Jesus Christ, Matthew 24, verse 15, predicting the end times of the Antichrist, when the abomination of desolation, Pachamama, is established and the Antichrist reigns. Times of confusion, even for the elect, says the Lord, Matthew 24, verse 24. Francis has effectively declared the wrecking, the repriche in pace to the traditional Latin Mass. And what are we going to do? First of all, we see how this man is taking away all the options of the recollection and solemnity of the traditional Catholic rite. And what can we find or could we find in the traditional Latin Mass? Well, there has always been a sense of special reverence, stillness, serenity, silence, expectation, something transcendent that for some reason has served the Church for 2,000 years and should not be discontinued. The sacred language of Latin, the special way of using the sacred vessels, the communion in the mouth while people are kneeling, in all this tradition that shows us to belong to an ancient and sacred church that has produced the saints in all the previous centuries of Christianity. Let us pray a lot for the hierarchy of the church. Let us pray that our spiritual values do not run the risk of accepting everything that is implemented in Rome. The devil is very active in our church. Let us pray for the protection of our faith, so that the sacrifice offered to God is pleasing and does not continue to offend Him with the profanation that reigns. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share it on social networks, and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. Tell us what you think about these modern changes that continually bombard our Catholic Church. With the beginning of the pandemic, the perpetual sacrifice began to be abolished. Now the Latin Mass is in mortal danger. What do you think? God bless you.